Hey everybody, Jay Marino here, and welcome back. It's the Rise of the Witch King. We are on the finale. It's the last mission of this expansion pack. We played through Battle of Middle-Earth, Battle of Middle-Earth 2, and now the expansion pack. And I've really enjoyed it. I, I still think that the first game was my favorite, but I can really see how the game has been iterated and improved upon all the way through Rise of the Witch King. And you can see how these missions are a lot more meticulously crafted with interesting little map events happening. Some of it's garbage, some of it's great. Uh, I'm having a good time. I've had a really good time with this series overall. And I'm, uh, I'm sad to see it go, at least very soon. So we're going to Fornost. It's the capital of Arnor. And uh, it's just time to, to get him out of here. Gondor's going to be the only one that's left, all right? Rohan's kind of there too, I guess. Actually, that's a very important kingdom also. Many years have passed since the Great Plague devastated the north. In great secrecy, the hosts of Angmar have been reforged, and the final stroke is ready to fall upon the last bastion of Arnor's power, Fornost. With its beautiful spires and unyielding walls, it alone stands between the Witch King and total victory. But the Dúnedain will not fall easily. They have gathered all of their host and all of their allies for this battle. The last and decisive battle for the North is about to begin. Fornost, the capital of men and seat of Isildur's heirs. More than that, it is a symbol to men. It is a symbol that must be destroyed. Oh, we got our new guy with us. I am beyond All enemies suffer 33% speed penalty and take slight damage over time. Enter the city, destroy the citadel. We have no workers. It's the just it's just Morgamim. Mor Morgamer? Morga Morgamer. I can bring um, to command. Who shall I bring to our battle? Honestly, I I like spearmen on these guys because we don't have any anti. Uh, actually, never mind. We have some hill trolls, but that's fine. Um, here's what here's something we can try. We use fell wind to suck these guys in, and then we use avalanche. Just like that. Okay, then let's take care of what's left. We got cavalry coming in, but we're ready for him. And then we want to get this guy leveled up as fast as possible. Okay, well that went really well. I mean, we got that really long cooldown. We might as well use it. The Witch King has arrived. You love to see it. Um, okay, he's automatically making my... I await the Witch King's command. Build it strong. Um, let's move forward and get rid of these remaining towers real quick. And... Yep, that's that. Okay. As usual, turn this stuff on autocast. I think we leave Terrible Fury off autocast now that I think about it. Are we missing somebody? We're missing, um, the guy. Let's just get this stuff set up wherever. Destroy these buildings to give us some maneuvering room, of course. So we just, like, have a siege proper. That's perfectly fine with me. You guys, again, let's get rid of these towers first and foremost. Head on down here. Still not entirely sure what that does, but, you know, it's fine. Get ready to build. Let's go ahead and just get our, uh... Oh, they're, they're taking up my... My resource spots. Let's get over there and take this out, too. We're gonna need some defense. They might try to harass us a bit with, uh... With this cavalry. Oh, you're, you're, too, you're too close to the edge, buddy. You're just too close. We could take out these towers. Our new building is complete. Boom. 
I mean, when you see that start to fly at you, you know there's no, there's no way you're going to be able to avoid it. Okay, finish it up. Don't let the trolls see you slacking. We must fight them off again. Toil for the iron crown. The outer area has been cleared. You know it. Here's more work for That's too close. Words. That's way too close. We gotta just kind of do it like that, I think. Build it strong. Right, and then back them up, and we just have to get our resources set up and wait for... You know, just wait for resources, really, but... We can hit a lot of stuff from down here, actually, with these things. And... Get back to work, or you'll be thrown to the Build it for the witch to Again, we're kind of just going to cram this, these wherever they'll fit. Toil for the iron of crown. course. Okay, it's a little too close. Build it that's strong. fine. Some of these things out front are just going to get hit, and that's just the way it is. Great. Okay, good. Um, we want to move up and see if we can hit this. We got to focus on these outer areas first and foremost. For Nost. <laughs> I'm here all week. Um, all right, one of those is going to go down still. Don't let the trolls see you. Let's get our Arnold needs your assistance. Crush the feet. <laughs> Crush the feeble hobbit counterattack. Oh no. Okay, let's head on over here. Oh, there they go. Feels bad, man. Uh troll and wolf then also over here. Build it for the witch king. The Oh man, I I feel bad. And, and they may every so often just keep sending units out to counterattack. Again, we have to get rid of this stuff that's on the high ground. They can just rebuild it. We have to de destroy the wall sections proper. <laughs> Poor guys. Okay. The filthy hobbits have been destroyed. The fire's burning on you, Dark Iron Forge. Can we hit can we maybe hit this trebuchet? Our wolves can wear spiked collars now. I, I don't care about the wolves. You're always talking about the wolves and the spiked collars? It's I literally is the thing I care about the least. Only having one of each production structure I realize is really not enough, but that's okay. We There it is, we got him. We actually took out a good chunk of that. Let's move over here. The den is deeper. And we're going to want to upgrade our town hall too. Flames of Darkness I think is quite good. We should stick with that. The Temple of Twilight That's really cheap. That's all really cheap. We could snag that. The king's men. I await the upgrade. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade all these structures max before we really bother too much. Unless, I mean, there, it's possible there's just going to be stuff that they keep sending at us to kind of keep us on our toes. I'm not so sure. Here's more work for you lazy or it's the thrall hordes for you. And we're just going to cram these in wherever they can fit at this point, as I have mentioned multiple times. To me, to me. Keep upgrading there. Keep upgrading there. Crush the Hobbit attack. Oh, man. What can you do eventually? Blink? Eh. Inflicts massive damage on a non-undead unit. Like a single unit. I guess that's fine. And what I can do is just keep attacking these wall sections for now. And maybe we can destroy some of these structures. Some of these production structures, I should say. Ice walls, so that we can get the uh, the Witch King Sanctum. I should have built this a little... Well, I couldn't really build it much closer. That's just about done. Very nice. The Dark Iron Forge has been expanded. 
Okay. They continue to actually send some units out to harass us, as they should. And at this rate, we're going to have to rebuild all of our resource structures, but that's not the end of the world. Witch King, please mount up. We're going to run back here and take care of this. I honestly think that our little... Uh, Uh, give me some whites on these. And let's see if maybe we can hit some of these production structures from the low ground. Let's see if we can save this group and give them the Well of Souls. The Hall of the King's Men is greater than ever. Don't let the trolls see you slacking. And is this too close? I think I think this is might be a little too close to that edge. The blood is starting to spill, Witch King. Just keep hitting these, and then I am going to make more. We're too low on resources. And yes, resources. I think I do need another worker though, because I only have one. Because I I've lost a few. Only four hundred here. I feel like they were more last time. I mean, you can keep trying to run out here if you want. It's not going to help you. Um, is Avalanche back up? No. I'm not sure exactly where I'd want to use it. Let's get on up here and we can... Zap these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's an excellent spell. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it heals you for that much. We want ice shot. There it is. And I think if we can destroy the... Uh, did we destroy the postern gate? I think we did, but it's a ramp regardless. We don't want to destroy that straight up. Go ahead and keep focusing these production structures. We want to come down here and cover... We need to leave some units down here or just make a tower. The mills are being ready to build. The ice munitions are cold enough now. Toil for the iron crowd. Mm, I don't think we can quite set this up because it's still in range of that other one. Build it strong. The darkness waits. Swing down here. I'll I'll set this up again. to the wolves. Now we can get ice shot. Fighting has begun. There we go, we got a production structure. These are all civilian structures, I think. Okay, and I would like to try to consolidate a little bit. We almost have our, our final other thing. You know what, Rokash, let's send you over here. Let's take this out. If we could take this thing out, then we can, uh... We, don't have we can build more farms, or whatever they're called. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Looks like an attack, you know, relatively large-sized attack coming in, we but it's not... It's not insane. I ready to kill. The idea is if you can kill the whole tower, then they can't rebuild it. The arrow towers are only barely an actual problem. Okay, coming over here. Rokash, I thought I had you over here specifically to help us with this. Let's get ice arrows in the pipe. Then I'm going to bring these guys over here. I like how sometimes he just doesn't he just chooses not to... There he goes. Dude, we really kept him airborne there. I'm just going to rebuild that. And the idea is we just need to hold on long enough to get enough of these upgrades to, to get an army that's actually, that's actually upgraded and we're all set.
but it's surprisingly difficult. If we could even get one tower over here. I have Avalanche, and I can get my Shade Wolf. I don't know what this does, so I guess we should use it and see. Destroy the civilian buildings and collect whatever treasures can help. Oh my gosh. That's what it does. <laughs> I might give him frozen land, too. Destroy their production. I'm just going to use a ton of uh, summons up here. Cool. And then that's going to get avalanched. Dude, this thing is awesome. It's basically the Balrog. Just 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 hit the hit the production. They don't rebuild it as far as I can tell. Look, the enemy. Our new building is complete. My power is Okay. And then these guys down here. Oh no. <laughs> okay. The enemy is attacking our builder. We cannot build any more troops. Let's grab these. Then we're gonna send our armies all the way back in this direction. This thing's gonna despawn and die. Okay. I prefer if you didn't kill this, but you know what? I think it's gonna happen. We can at least maybe hit him with the um, frozen ground. And we have five points, so just get the the last final thing that we don't have. Oh, it's going to live. Again, we continue to just wait for money. The Elven counterattack is just about gone. I I have a tower here, but apparently we need like a billion towers if we actually want to stop them from coming down here. I did destroy some production. Clearly not enough. Let's go ahead and get some upgrades while we're at it. We'll just throw whites down on top of here. Let's suck these up. Okay, come back out. Let's set up our recon one more time. Maybe one more time. Probably several more times. Let's get another worker. I did avalanche that. It doesn't seem like it was particularly effective. I think I'm doing okay actually using all my spells. Large chunks of ice. That sounds exciting. Okay, some of you stay over here. Some of you stay over here. And then let's take the time again to set these things back up. I would like you all to destroy this trebuchet tower so that we can build more farms or what have you. Because now we can set them up up here. Build it strong. And all is well with the world. Now my army is actually split up properly. Yeah, just like that. Okay, perfect. We finished that one. And these all have ice chunks. They're all flinging ice chunks. Perfect. Again, they're arrow towers, but it's whatever. Um, I could set up these defenses, but I don't think I need them at this exact moment. I'm just going to get all the other stuff that I can currently afford. Try to set up more resource structures so that we can get actually... Um, so that we can actually... Is there another one over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Here they come. I, I was, I'm ready for them this time. I was going to say let these things level up. Because once they're leveled up, then they'll start giving us more resources. And I think they get a little archer guy on them. You guys attack that trebuchet tower. Our forces are under attack. Is that more trebuchets? It is. That's fine. Let's just send the Witch King up there to take care of those. And I need... I mean, I can get multiple fortresses to defend, but I need my own catapults. That should take care of this stuff pretty handily, I think. Never mind. That's what's going to happen. They have no... Okay, then... The witch king's come on. <laughs> More... Building econ strong. structures. No, don't destroy that one. Now they can just run out freely. Well, you know what? It didn't really matter because they had the posture and gate, so they, would, they could run out freely regardless. Okay, you guys stay back. Vengeance is mine. The blood has started to spill. Then... Our new building is ready. I can't afford anything else. <laughs> Man, it's just... It's... it's don't difficult because it's hard to get a large enough economy maintained for long enough get back to work or you'll be such that you can actually get an army going. Worms. And then we got those trebs up there. Those are going to go next, I'd say. Where are my trolls? We are ready to strike. Um, what counterattack could be remaining, I wonder. I don't know. You'll build for the Iron Crown. Toil for the Iron Crown. Okay, and I think that's as many of these things as we can possibly have at this point until we start moving into Fornost. Okay, and 800 is our max? Or is it because I, I need more, uh, resource structures? We'll see when this is- when this one's done, we'll see if we go up to 900. And if not, then... I guess 800 is the max, which is really unfortunate. We finished that one. Yeah, 800 is really the max Get for the last mission. No, 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 no. You'll build for the Iron Crown. Um, should I wall hub it up? I don't really want to. Has begun. I can. I'm practically maxed out. I hate it. Okay, so what do we do? You guys attack that. Witch King, move out and just take care of these, because the trebuchet is not going to really do a lot of damage to you. Would you stop! Okay. Then this one. I can make more. I can make more stuff. That's the thing. Don't worry about that. Again, getting rid of these though is important. Then this one. Trolls, ice flinger things. Get one more. A group of three seems appropriate. We move. I wish he was flying. I feel like he should be. Do I have avalanche? No, I do not. Take your shot, and then we're going to get the heck out of here, if we can keep you alive. Honestly, rebuilding you would be perfectly acceptable. Catapults. Catapults. Kennels. Battle towers on the side. There we go. Okay, got a pretty large group here. We're losing workers again, but I think that's, you know, it's fine. We can rebuild them as long as we don't lose the fortress. I have a, I have another worker who is safe. Set this back up. And I'm just going to keep hitting these arrow towers. And we got more trebuchets up there, my goodness. 60. I guess get another one of these. 
Are these guys fully upgraded? It says, oh, maybe I never got the blades. It says I've, it's already been purchased, but for some reason I can't research it on these guys. Oh, no, I can. I, it's because I couldn't afford it earlier, I guess. Of course, that's what happened. Let's back you up. We just have to keep, like, a little bit of, uh, constant pressure on all these different angles. At a certain point, if I could just set up fortresses on these sides, that would be better. I think they stopped attacking us over here once we were able to take out some of their production, so maybe once the Ice Wolf is up again, we do the same thing up here. Go ahead and attack that, and... Rotate back to the middle. Of course, okay. And I think I can get one more. The supply cap on this in this game so far has been irritating. I think those can handle themselves. We have two more. Very nice, we got rid of that. That's like a marketplace of some sort. I don't know if I can get close enough to hit this. Yeah, they're not gonna attack. If they're not gonna counter attack me because I'm attacking these towers, then I'm happy to have it. Okay, back up. I think I see some units coming in over here. You'll do as you're told. We wait for battle. Waiting for orders. Yeah, now they have theirs, those things. Keep making rock throwers. I think we're about to get cavalry counter attacked again. Get ready to build. Toil for the iron crown. Okay. I'm gonna get another worker as well. I think we're in decent shape. We just have to figure out how we're going to start this attack. And I think a big part is just getting rid of these uh, these towers. And then they'll continue to counterattack us down the side. So I think we need to set up a few towers. Not a ton, but some towers on each side. Perfect. That's great. They're, again, they're not really counterattacking. Well, that is... I build the forces come again. Almost. We also have a separate trebuchet. So we gotta target that. Our forces are under attack. You'll do it. I don't know what these guys are doing right now, but we'll give them some whites. Um Frost Wolf thing is up. So is Avalanche, and this is an Avalanche right here. Very nice. And then remaining trolls, go ahead and hit this. We're gonna make more trolls. And roll them up. We gotta get rid of those high ground things before... ...we can really do anything else. What can I, I mean, what can I really do with the rest of my money? I guess, I don't think, I, I don't think Snow Trolls are the right choice. Let's get another group of Dark Rangers. So we can get those fully veteran seed, we'll be in great shape. We just need more, uh, stone throwers. This is mostly cleaned out. Okay, start making some, start making some battle towers at this point. And it's like we have to do a forward attack without losing, or without without leaving our flanks open as well. Let's come on over here. Our money's popping off, though. It looks like I can't build more than one. I can't build more than one of the um, whatever they are, um, the fortresses. That would be nice. They just rebuild these defenses, and then they send more trebuchets in, too. 
Because those arrow, the, I mean, all the arrow towers and stuff will also be perpetual issues. Yes, this guy's level four at least. Okay, towers. I don't want to tower spam, but in a way, it's kind of necessary because this is actually constant. I think we got to take what we can do right now, now that these trebuchets are moving out to hit us. And we are actually oversupplied. And they just summoned in some free units. That's, you know, casual. Okay, all done there. Let's take out this building up here. They die before they can flee. Our new building is complete. You know what? You roll around to the front. I wish we had our human... Our human guy. I don't know where he is. Let's war chant here. Let me get some mountain giants as well and have them start hitting structures. Where's Snow Lord? Come on down here and help us, buddies. And again, a big key is just picking off structures that can build stuff at this point. Got lots of stuff coming in. We're going to frozen ground here. And we're going to tainted ground also. And then we're going to start getting Morgamer back out. Uh, we need to lose five more things and then we can get him back out. This, again, like, there's so much stuff up there still. We need to pick a direction and commit to it. All the production up here is gone. Get ready to build. I was going to say, can I... <laughs> build it Keep moving forward. Oh, God, you're wasted. You're being wasted. No, no, no. Now we can start Morgamer back out. Again, it's a little unclear to me what attacking up here is going to really accomplish. Gash died too. Again, I'm not really watching what's happening to these folks. They're just running up against the, the main gate, I think. I'm going to go ahead and take this army and start attacking up in this direction. Witch King alone can probably do a lot of this, but... Watch this. <laughs> We're going to start getting more of this garbage. Do I want more hill trolls? I guess... I think we get some Thrall Masters, honestly. Another group of Warlocks as well. That was wasted. Get! Where are you running? I'm telling you to go the other way! Okay, and they've got like a whole separate thing back there. We're sort of making our way through this little area, but it's difficult. Can at least kind of slow them down. This is where they're making catapults from. Maybe we can focus this down really quick. Okay, we're sort of trapped up here. We can kind of retreat down this way instead. Because we opened it up. Then... Get back to work. We're going to set up more towers over here as well. 
is joined. And that that stables right there, I think, is part of the problem. Morgamer is back. Queue up the Witch King as well. At least our income is sort of popped off to the point where at least it's like a little more self-sufficient. Okay, let's move up here and get rid of these. You're gonna specialize in Well of Souls. This is a uh, this is a slog. Oh my goodness, this is. This is pretty. This is this is something. I mean, part of the issue is just I can't make enough of an army to defend both defend myself and be able to make any sort of meaningful progress into the city. Nor can I make another fortress. Um, I don't really want to have to tower creep, but that is something I could do also. Make more ice troll things. That's such a goofy spell. I just like it's 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 a stun, but that's about it, right? Don't don't just run right into that. Um, yeah, they have a little bit of everything, so I think archers and just normal black Numenorians is the right choice. These guys are pretty helpful too. They're attacking the mills. Oh my gosh! At least defend yourself. What are you? What are you doing? Also, all their units seem to spawn with high veterancy. You guys stay here. These hill trolls are surprisingly good against everything. I wouldn't have expected that. Get one more of those. Still waiting on the Witch King to come back out, too. Get back to work or you'll be thrown to the wolves. And we'll get the thing that hurls the giant boulders. And I'll get one more worker as well. <laughs> we need to take a group and go straight up and try to wipe out this entire section. I'm going to actually take these groups and do exactly that. And then new units that spawn will just leave here. I find it interesting that the snow trolls are actually less, uh... <sighs> Witch King? He, stands mount he at least starts mounted this time. Yeah, this is, um... It's not not enjoyable, but it's, it's a little insufferable, unfortunately. Say and like we're it's there's so many little things to this mission that make it not quite fun, unfortunately. But here we go. If we can if we can take these guys in here and hit this stable, then they might start hitting. They might stop hitting us from that direction. Oh wait, wait no no don't 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 destroy that because we can steal it. I also don't know why that that's flashing like that, but... Okay, cool. Then hit this. Witch King back up. And, like, we're not fully maxed out, but I don't think we can actually get anything else. This is partially annoying, too, because there's really no way to, um... ...to quickly destroy these things with the walls without, like, meticulously killing each and every one along the way. And that's, you know... It's not, it's not frustrating, but it, it gets old pretty fast. 
I can stay on top of this no problem and then just keep rebuilding my econ over and over and with the hope that it's at least paying for itself. Ice trolls also would be pretty good to get on top of these things. No man can stand my Hello, I really Like you to hit these? I think we just want to keep pushing straight up to get rid of that infrastructure up there. Stop attacking the inn and steal it. There's treasure on the ground. I guess being offensive might have been the right choice. It's a little too late now. I mean, I think maybe we just grab more catapults? Rock throwers, what have you? <laughs> Rudar Hellman, are you are you kidding me? I am first of the king's men. Um, can you use this long shot here on these guys? S S pretty good. It's a pretty long cooldown too. Um, ultimates are like up, but not really. Again, if even if we use avalanche here. It doesn't actually help, I don't think. Let's just wait for a moment. We realistically only need the Witch King and maybe this group of, of Ice Trolls. You'll build for the Iron Crown. Build it strong. Get ready to build. To protect against the, uh, these things. These things are, are literally, they're just, it's constant. It's actually constant. They're, they're being built out of some of these buildings back here. I don't know specifically which ones. Is the goal just, it's to destroy the Citadel, destroy 75% of civilian buildings? I can't imagine what bonus that would give us. Okay, back up. Just keep backing up. I, I love that those are the units that we're able to build for whatever reason. All right, get on up here. Men of Angmar. This dummy's here too. Ice, ice guys, get on up here. I'm just gonna send my heroes down here to try to pick these things off. I need to at least start attacking some of these stupid towers. Because, again, I have no other way to hit them. Ooh, I like that. All right, yeah, give me the money. Not that I really need it. This is going to take so long. Like, I feel like we're not even that close to accomplishing anything. Let me get a worker up here and build, the, build, a, build a forge. Specifically to do this. Come down here and grab here. I'm going to bring the Witch King up too. We just have to be slow and meticulous moving up through this area. And just keep hitting these stupid arrow towers. Here comes another one of these. I think at this rate we're not going to destroy other civilian structures. That would take too long. Go ahead and attack this gate next. Thankfully, they don't come and help their friends. And I don't have any units just, like, hanging around somewhere, right? No. We are ready to strike. All right, move forward. Make sure these things stay covered. We have this set up here. I'll upgrade it just so that we we sort of do it, but... Let's get in there and start attacking in this direction. Let's at least make them have to get closer to us if they want to do that. Are these, like, 
arrow towers on the sides of the gate as well. That I don't know. We'll just keep inching and inching and inching. They're closing the gate, which might mean that they don't send these things anymore. If we're, if we're lucky. Let's go ahead and just keep expanding this. So that's, you know, it's faster build rate as well, so we can make more if we need them. I guess technically we can bring these guys up too. Okay, I guess I don't need to destroy the gate. Here's where we're gonna use... Um, oh yeah, this gives us a... This gives us the vision on the stuff that we need. We're going to use Avalanche here. And we're going to move in. They're going to be able to rebuild some of this. Use a variety of stuff. Get this guy out so that we can start. Is this a civilian building? No, this is, a, this is an actual structure of sorts. I'm just going to use all my summons here now. Okay, let's move on in. I need to lose some stuff so that I can make at least one more catapult. They opened it back up to keep sending these things, because of course they did. Again, let's get these structures. I need this thing actually like casting stuff. This is big. What is this back here? Just revealing parts of the map. I guess that's not bad, but you know. Um, Witch King, back up and hit these guys. You guys start attacking the gate, I guess. And let's get up here and finish this stuff up. That's cool. Is there another one? <laughs> it's endless. Okay, and then let's get some more catapults now that we have the supply. Again, the the lack of available supply is the biggest issue here. Like, by a mile. I really dislike that, given what you're expected to do on this mission. Shall kneel before the iron crown. Okay, so we don't need to destroy that stuff. Just go ahead and take this so that we have vision. What is this? It's like a coliseum of sorts. Men of Angmar, move. So let's back up. We can go up. Now we can go up the other side and do the same thing, or we try to push through the middle again and take hold of this middle section, because they're not attacking us from, like, our flanks anymore. It's just these stupid things, endlessly, over and over and over. Dude, come on! There you go. Under attack. I know, of course it is, because you know what it's under attack by? It's under attack by a stupid trebuchet, again. That is once again going to be a problem, again. I don't know if they have a bunch of extra product. They do. They do. Have they have a significant amount of production. I say we just attack from the top, from where we were, and push downwards. Now that I think about it. That makes the most sense to me. We don't have the supply for that, just barely. But yeah, I think we just, we go ahead and we attack. No! Okay, finish up that tower. I mean, realistically, all they're building are just these stupid things. That's it. Attack that. My brothers, ride out and vanquish this foe. Oh no. Oh, okay, they spawned a bunch of units from the back of the map. Um, I do not have very many uh Globals to deal with this. Stay back, stay back, stay back. I'm gonna save. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
destroy civilian buildings. Absolutely not. Not at this rate. We're going straight for the win if we can, because this is a... Look, it's funny. I started the map, I was, uh, and I was like, you know, I've really enjoyed this series. And, like, this feels kind of like a low note to go out on. All right, this dude's got to go down fast. He's dead already. Keep attacking that piece of wall. Witch King, go ahead and fear them. And then heal us. And then leap on them. This is my chance to queue up some additional... Additional catapults. I know they're not they're not catapults proper, but you understand. Now we can just continue to wait for globals as necessary. <laughs> let's just let's walk down here, I guess. And we just have to we wanna start picking off these structures. And I'm just going to pick off a building that I'm going to back up. I'll pick off a second building and then back up. This guy's getting roasted. Get him out. Oh, that's a forge. Okay, stables down as well. We just have to keep packing away at these structures. Just over and over and over again. Very nice. Get back to work. Um. <sighs> Witch King, come on down here. Take care of that. Okay, then that one. And that one. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't, don't go down there. I wonder, did it, is there... I just need to figure out exactly what building... I think it's that? It's just the constant trebuchet stream. So annoying. You can stay back here and repair yourself. Work. Or it's the thrall hordes for you. And then let's move up and build. The enemy is attacking our forces. Here's more work for you, lazy work. Men of Angmar. More stuff up at the front. Dude, dodge. Did you see that? I am first of the king's men. And then we have to attack the wall segments slowly, slowly, slowly. Again, this feels like such a low note to go down out on this game. Like I had a great time until this very this end this end mission is really unfortunate. So we gotta just wait. Let me grab even another one of these. Is it getting attacked currently by something else again? No, but I'm just gonna build another one even further up here. That's- I also am struggling to see the difference between the civilian buildings and the other stuff. And there's towers there. We gotta get down and go for this. We're gonna have more... Catapults. We're gonna rally them up here, too. Ice Thinger Bobs. Okay, back up just a little bit. We gotta take out these towers one by one because, again, I don't have enough supply to do anything meaningful. Uh, we need Hall of King's men as well. Those are my guys, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Victory Monument. That's cute. Dude, we're so close. 
Okay, well goes down. Let's go for this. I guess steadily take care of that, too. Is this technically an arrow tower, or is that just a corner? That's that's a wall thing. No, no, no. You come all the way up here. Um... Sorcerers, back up. Let's use our heroes to just chase this thing down, and then I need new catapult rock thrower thingy, my bobbers, to move up. Keep upgrading these buildings. Get ready to build. Go ahead and scream. Just yell. There we go. And then again, we have to focus on these uh, these buildings. Do I have three of these things at this point? That's delightful. We gotta get up here and actually attack this stuff then. It's just so many structures that need to be focused down with artillery. It just makes it take really long. Like, unfortunately long. Okay, we force them to sell that or destroy it. I don't know. Wait, are they building it out of these? Because if that's the case, we're cooking with gas. Then this one. <laughs> oh, what a slog. Okay, you know what? We're, I guess we got we're going to do it. Just build towers along the way. I, I hate it, but that's what we're gonna do. My servants are weak, but I am Move up, hit the next the next Fuck thing. The enemy's camp. That, yeah, you know what? If we would have gone up the right, we would have been able to stop this this trebuchet spam. Which is a shame, because that's I'm not it's too late now. We're just gonna go for the win. And like screw the whole civilian structure thing. We're we're well past that at this point. Absolutely not. I've got a bunch of globals up now. <laughs> We did all the other bonus object. Oh, you MFers. You locked him in. He's stuck back here now. Well, sorry, Witch King. Oh, they're, they're, they might let him out. Get out of there, buddy. Okay, and then let's go ahead and attack the actual, like, citadel itself. Yeah, destroy the Citadel. That's it. Okay, we're there. We just gotta wait for it to happen. Okay? We just gotta wait for it to happen. Okay. Oh, these guys are still here, too. Get up there. Okay. This is kind of how I beat the... Fo how I beat Fornos the first time. They're attacking at distance. Feels like Avalanche also is a, a little less... No, oh, no, it's really good. I take it back. I was gonna say it feels like Avalanche isn't quite as good, but no, it's it's very good. Don't get yourself killed. Come on, a couple more rounds. That right there is the problem. <laughs> we get to see the Witch King flip through the eye, flip through the air there. Ingmar's hammer fell, and down came Fornost in ash and fire. Arnor never wakes from its age-long nightmare. Thousands lay dead in the streets. The Witch King's malice can now spread throughout these northern lands. Evil had come to Arnor, and evil prevailed. Oh, there might have been way more effective ways to play that. I just felt so hamstrung by the supply limit. 
It, I mean, I just, I feel like I only needed a little bit more supply in order to leave enough units in place to protect myself, but the big issue was getting off the ground in the first place. I couldn't defend three different entrances based on the income that I had, and I couldn't build enough income structures, etc., etc. So it was, it was tough, but once we got off the ground, we were able to kind of cut a, a path down the left side straight to the, the citadel. I don't know, I... I... I kind of err on the side of just saying, like, well, I guess I just didn't play very well and I didn't figure out, like, the correct way to play this. But on the other hand, I I think it's pretty fair to say that the design of this map is... Uh, it's it was It's just very tedious. Okay, well, hey, that's the end. That's the end of the Battle for Middle-Earth series. We played through 1, 2, and Rise of the Witch King. I liked a lot of the missions in Rise of the Witch King. I did not like this last one, but I liked a lot of them. Um, I liked the first game because of the veterancy system. I liked the second game because it just felt like it corrected a lot of the issues that existed with the first game, uh, except it also removed the the uh, continuation of veterancy squads, which I liked as a concept, but I can also see why you can't really implement that super easily because it's really easy to steamroll if you just build a, a giant veterancy army. But again, I saw strengths in both games, and then Rise of the Witch King felt like more... Of a, like I said, like a meticulously curated experience. The maps were each meant to force you to do a specific thing. Um, there were some time limits, you know, uh, kind of like a King of the Hill type stuff. Uh, it wasn't as simple as, you know, build a base, move out, and then attack the enemy base. And you kind of see this iteration happen across the real-time strategy genre in general. Not necessarily over time. Like, it's not that every franchise of RTS developed this, like, in the same years, but it's just as RTS, as each series matures, you see that they move from build and destroy fairly bland, and it, build and destroy isn't necessarily bland, it, it's really not, but if you play enough of it, then you're like, okay, maybe we should, like, mix this up a little bit and get some diversity in there, and, um... And that's kind of what I see Rise of the Witch King doing. Is it like it really changed a lot of the map design? It really changed the type of units you had. And it wasn't, again, it like, here's a little army, here's some builders, build a base, and then go and win. Now, I guess kind of that's what this last mission was, and I really didn't care for it. But that was also partially with how the AI uh, was, you know, able to rebuild uh, the, the tribuchet specifically. Okay, well, you know, we finished. Uh, like I said, it feels like a bit of a low note, but let me be very clear. I love these these games. There were some maps that did not land, like Fornost, but uh, for the most part, like I was just really enjoying myself. I think that's shown through the most in the first Battle for Middle Earth. I, I really think that's shown through the most there. Um, but uh, overall, it was a fun series, and we'll be moving on to something new next time. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did too. See ya.